People, what a final that was. I'm talking about the 100 meter finals for the women in the World Championships 2023 going on in Budapest right now. Listen, this was a race for the ages. The women were out there to do their best. And listen, the takeaway from this is hard training. Training hard is more important than talking tough. And these women, it's obvious they were prepared for this race and it went like this. It's a price deliver. She's got a good start, but watch Sharika Jackson. Sharika Jackson, is she just going to do it? Oh, on the near side, right to the end. And we're getting ready to write the script for Fraser Price. Shakara Richardson ran from the back and won that race in 10.65, a championship record. Listen, nobody in the World Championship, no woman in the World Championships has ever run faster than that. And that's something to tell you that all stops were pulled out for this race. The main protagonists, Sharika Jackson, uh, the five-time world champion in Shelley and Fraser Price, uh, the fastest woman before today, Marie Talou and Dina Asher Smith. All the regular suspects were in this race. And let me tell you that it came down to who ran through the line, who held their nerve the best. And this is another testament to this is not for the faint of heart. This is for those who have the mind of steel and are ready to run. Listen, another thing that happened. I know that people think that when bad things happen, it happened for bad reasons. Listen, Shakari was third in that semifinals. With a really fast time, she ran 10.84 in that semifinals. And people thought that, listen, uh, this means that she's put aside and she might not make it to the finals. But that time was good enough to make it to the finals. And she did what was necessary. Her being on that outside lane, I think worked best for her. Nobody saw her coming. She got to run her race. She didn't have to look at her competitors. She didn't have to know anything. She could see them instead of them seeing her. And that worked out well for her. Big ups. You did your best. And when the talking subside and the hard work begins, it shows. And that's what showed. Congratulations to Shakari. Congratulations to Sharika Jackson and Shelly and Fraser Price on your medals. And congratulations to all the people who were in that race. Julian Alfred from St. Lucia. This is her first big race, her first championship race. She made it to the finals and she did well. Listen, talk to me though about that false start in the semifinals by Julian Alfred. When the reaction times came up, her reaction time was way below point one of a second and in every other race in every other circumstances in every other aspect she would have been disqualified the thing is she wasn't she wasn't disqualified but on paper that was a dis that was a false start it was clear as day it came up we saw it and everything they decided to keep her in the race and listen i'm a fan of saint lucia I have many friends in St. Lucia. It's not taking away from the St. Lucian people, nor from Julian Alfred. I'm just saying, pointing it out, that on a normal day, that would have been a false start. But there she was. And I'm exceptionally proud that her year started last year, August. That's when she started training for her collegiate season. She ran through that entire season. She was unbeaten that entire collegiate season. And here she is, running in the finals of the World Championship. Her very first of these big championships and i'm telling you there's more to come join me also on this channel because there's more to come on this channel also and we'll talk about all the finals we're talking about all the finals all the finals we're talking about also the finals of the men's high hurdles where grant holloway from the united states took the gold medal hansa parchment like shakari ran from the back and came for a silver medal and the other american listen he came in for his third um, his bronze medal and we're proud of him because normally he trips up in these finals and we're proud that he came through this time and got his bronze medal um, Congratulations to all these people who have been working exceptionally hard. Listen people track and feel is not a Soft thing. It's not a baby thing. It's a hard profession if you are going to enter track and field, it means you're going to do what your coach says and you're going to do your thing on your time. Because these men and women have been training, some of them, all their lives. They know nothing else. 
to come to these championships and put out their effort and perform and win medals. So even those people who don't win medals, we're saying congratulations to you because listen, your effort means something to us. It's entertainment to us, it's work to you, but to all of us, it benefits us. So congratulations guys and congratulations to the women in the 100 meter. I'll see you in another video like this.